I got over oh, up to the office one day, and there was an invitation from Catherine Graham and Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis to have dinner Woo! At, at Catherine Graham's house. So I thought, well, I must be the most important person here. Um, and I get over to this lovely dinner at Catherine Graham's house, and it's me, the two women on the end, and all these male senators. And here's what happened. Jacqueline Kennedy had edited a book called Remember the Ladies from Abigail Adams' plea to her husband when he was writing the Constitution. Obviously, he didn't do it, but... Um, and it was about all the things that we didn't know about her story, you know, all the women in our backgrounds that had just been left out of history. I mean, they take history too seriously and figured there was no reason to put hers in it. So she wanted this as part of the official part of the bicentennial. It made sense to me. I thought it was about time women learned their history. So I had passed it out, and since no one was paying attention there, it got to the Senate, and they were like, no way. So I'm sitting here at this dinner, and I'm thinking, these are probably the two most powerful women I can think of in Washington, and these guys are saying no. And they're saying things like, our vision for what women should do in the bicentennial is beautification projects. And we would say, we could probably do both. You know, we could probably plant bulbs and read. Um, <laughs> They wouldn't have anything to do with it. So, uh, you know, at that point, I kind of dry, drove home thinking, what am I doing here? Their big compromise was they would allow the book to go to Europe and Asia and the U.S. information libraries, but that would be it. It would not be an official part of the bicentennial in the United States. Ah, I guess they were too afraid that we would get too radical. I don't know. <laughs> 